Hey, this is Hallie with Artsy Shark. Today we've got an exclusive episode jam-packed with business tips for artists, straight from our newest e-course, The Artist's Guide to Everything Instagram. If you're an artist managing a small business and your Instagram bio isn't working in your favor, you might be leaving potential traffic and sales on the table. So sit back as we dive in to unraveling the secrets with hacks for crafting an Instagram bio that guarantees maximum results. We'll walk you through bio editing, share top-notch optimization tips, explore various different artist bio styles, and throw in some fresh ideas you might not have considered. Ready to level up your Instagram game? Let's dive right in. Your bio is your first impression, and it's crucial to make it captivating. But here's the challenge. You've got mere seconds and limited characters to make a lasting impression. How do you choose what details to feature? With the limitation of 150 characters, I'd recommend keeping it short, sweet, and most importantly, informative. Your bio can be a catalyst for activity, a compelling call to action to your website, or even a branded hashtag for user-generated content. Your bio is often the initial point of contact for new visitors, presenting a golden chance to shout out who you are and what you bring to the table, right from the get-go. But more on that later. First, let's talk about how to edit your bio. Instagram is going to open up and take you directly to your home feed. We're going to go ahead and click the icon on the bottom right-hand corner to head to our profile page. Here in the profile page, you're gonna see edit profile right here front and center. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. Here's where you're gonna be making all of the changes to your profile. And this includes your bio, things like your name, your image, and all of that good stuff right in one place. Uh, one thing to note right here, you may notice that for my name, I could list my real name with this business, but you could also choose to use searchable terms in this spot. For this account, which is a soap maker, handmade artisan soap fits perfectly and would be another way for somebody to be able to find them through Instagram search. Here in the bio, here's where you can change things up. You can add emojis, you can change up the text, and voila, a new bio will be born. Also down here, we see that this is where you can link to your website, your landing page, your link tree, whatever kind of platform that you'd like to direct users to. Here, it, you can add up to five different links now in Instagram, which is great because that's just another way for people to be able to find your pages across the internet. Down at the bottom, you're gonna see, here's our public business information where you can add things for people to be able to contact you and go ahead and shop your website. Your profile picture should be high quality and recognizable. Consider using a logo, self-portrait, professional photo of you, simple text, or a stylized version of your artwork. Your username should be simple and relevant. If it's taken, get creative with underscores, numbers, or abbreviations. You can always edit your username after you create one, so this is always possible to change in Instagram. Craft a concise bio that showcases your art style, achievements, and personality. You can use emojis to add flair and break up text if they're appropriate for your brand. We created a whole deep dive video on branding, which I've linked in the description below, so feel free to check that out if you'd like to learn more about that topic. And don't forget to link your own bio to your website. You can make it count with a service like Linktree for multiple clickable links on a branded landing page. Moving on to keywords and hashtags. You're going to want to incorporate relevant keywords related to your art style or medium directly into your bio. You can even create your own branded hashtag to encourage your followers to share their experiences with your art. Consistency is key. Keep your branding consistent in your bio, matching your overall aesthetic. This helps to create a cohesive look that will resonate with your audience. Now let's talk engagement. You can include a call to action in your bio. Encourage users to tag you in their photos or visit your online shop. 
rotate call to actions periodically to keep things fresh and exciting. And remember to notice what results you get in your Instagram insights. You can use this info to make data-driven decisions about your marketing. Story highlights are a fantastic feature to showcase your best work, behind the scene moments, or specific projects and collections. Use eye-catching cover images for your highlights to make them visually appealing and draw in your audience. Keep these story highlights in your same cohesive style so that they add to the experience of your Instagram profile page. Now let's examine a few examples of artist bios, each distinct in its own style. These offer a view of how these talented artists communicate their identity and passions online. From minimalist to narrative, these examples provide insights for infusing personality into your own Instagram bio. Artist Jody Ahrens has a classic looking, timeless profile that's never gonna go out of style. It's short and sweet, it's kind of minimalist, and it directly goes with her brand and who she is, which is a serious professional artist who's painting impressionist paintings. So in her bio, she's got very simply professional artist, contemporary impressionist. This works perfectly with her and really matches with her art and carries through to her website as well. A great example of a descriptive bio would be by artist Jessica Thompson Lee. In her bio, she's stating exactly the medium and what her artwork is. It's sculptural, functional, and wearable ceramics, handmade in Brooklyn, New York. All of these things are exactly what people are using as search terms to find somebody. So her having them listed here makes perfect sense for her. I also love her fabulous ceramics here. She's curated such a gorgeous portfolio on her Instagram page. So I had to include this artist bio by Banksy, maybe the world's most famous anonymous artist of the, of the moment here. Uh, I stumbled across this looking for profiles for this video and thought this was so on brand. It looks like Banksy has used a transparent background for his profile picture, thus making it appear as if it's been removed. He's following zero people and he has absolutely nothing except for his name and his website in, in the bio. Very few artists can get away with putting almost no information in here, but this is completely on brand for Banksy and such a fun take. By the way, let me know if you'd like to see a video on Banksy. I thought it'd be really cool to see some of the ways that he uses marketing to create a huge hype around his artwork. I also wanted to highlight the bio of this quirky artist, Muddy Cap, who has this really creative way of creating a bio that's uniquely theirs. They do art, which is chair sculptures, which is so fun and interesting. And their bio is just very simple and kind of abstract. Um, I also love the way that their profile picture fits the circle shape perfectly. You know, they chose this photo of a globe. It's just a really unique way to stand out. And when people see that tiny little image of the globe, they're going to immediately know who this is. Really cool and outside the box. I just love the way artist Twinkling Toad has written her Instagram bio. It's absolutely in her own specific, unique voice. She's using her own verbiage. You know, it's so specific and fun to her. She's also got PS merch and stuff here with a little arrow pointing down so everyone knows what this link goes to. It makes perfect sense. And I also love how her fun personality is mirrored by her artwork with these bright colors, rainbows, frogs, uh, magical elements, super fun. Artist Lisa Weiss has chosen to take a more inspirational, motivational approach with her bio. And it makes perfect sense for this artist because that's what's reflected in her art. She has this message in her bio, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be free. Perfectly sums up her optimistic, positive outlook and everything she's trying to express and convey with the colors and the look of her own artwork. And there you have it. Crafting a killer Instagram bio is an art in itself. I hope these tips and tricks help you stand out in the digital art world. 
If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more business tips for artists. In the meantime, you can check out more content like this from our animated series. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.